keep playing, guys. All right. We are in stabilization endurance, so we are going to continue um, and take it just a step further. Um, okay, we're going to start with a foam roll. Calves, IT band, lock. Okay, you might notice sometimes you see me um, kind of like holding on one spot. It's because it's really tight, and sometimes you see the kind of little back pressure there. This is rolling back over it. to prevent from injury. Um, so, you know, I'm 30 years old and I definitely have to take a little bit longer in my 30s to warm up. Um, but anytime I would just jump right into a workout, even in my 20s, I, I did get hurt sometimes because I wasn't completely warmed up. Um, as a personal trainer, um, that is always my number one uh, goal. And it's not um, my priority. Is not um, you don't want me to get hurt. <laughs> so the warm up is important. Okay. Now we are going to do some static stretching. So, and I'm doing literally the same ones that we did Tuesday. So, um, you've got a kneeling and a stretch. So you want to make sure that you've got a posterior tilt. 
and on the basic glue and bring this uh, hand plastic glue really, really tight. And we're going to breathe. Okay. Side. So I got a posterior tilt. Arm and straight. And loose. Good. Okay. If you have a ball or a couch or any type of surface that you can raise your arms on top of, we're going to do the last stretch. Um, if you notice any um, tightness in your shoulders, um, uh, you can try just doing one arm at a time. You can take the wide hand of the ball and you're going to press out and you the hand back in. trying to grow these puppies out. So, we've got a side eyes drop off. Okay. Put it on your elbow. Make sure your shoulder is aligned with your elbow. And you can stack your knees if you have knee pain. Arm is going to go up, or you can take it here. Don't bring it here, because then it's really bad posture for your shoulders.
got a single leg right now. So, a little bit of single half, single leg reach. Okay? Okay, work your balance. You might need something to hold on to. But we're trying to rotate. Okay? You know, feet are going to be like this. Right foot forward. Facing this wall. Left foot facing this wall. Start here. Lift. Rotate. Okay, I just head on the right, head on the left. Horizontal jump with a stabilization. Okay, I'm gonna show you modified. I'm not modified, so you're gonna come down, jump, stabilize. Yeah, because you're going horizontal. Okay, modification, down, two, three, up, step, down, two, three, up, step. Um, you should not feel your shoulder digging out, okay, because you're really engaging your core. So it's fast. Okay, side plank, you can go like this, all right, but it's a lot harder, so we're modifying by stacking the knees. Okay, shoulder, elbow, engage the core, lift. Push that hip up to the ceiling. Straight up. Seven. Eight.
You'll lose your balance. It's normal. No one's studying. I'm trying not to just pick my leg up there. Four. Three. Two. One. Other side. This side is harder to not just pick my leg up. <laughs> If you need to modify it if the arms are too much, take a hand on your waist. Horizontal jump. Remember to modify. Three, two, one, up, over. A lot of balancing on the legs today, guys. So grab your light weights. We got a single leg chest fly. We're gonna just do it with really light weights. You can do it with your arms. You're gonna balance. Lift up and okay. Six on the right, six on the left. No, this is my right. Okay, now we've got a cobra on here. So we're gonna we're gonna focus on your levers and hinging, okay? So it's here. Okay, now we've got YTAs. Um, if you have something you could set your foot on, like a little bench or a stair, um, you could do that. I'm going to have a little step. Um, but otherwise, it's a single leg. So you can go like this or something on something. Five, two, 
Like I said, if you don't have weights, just use your hand. It's so gonna be hard, I promise you. Because you're balancing. We're working on stability. Make sure the shoulders are rolled back. Five, two, eight. Okay, now we rest 90 seconds or so. I'll probably wait about 60. Switch. 
By the way, I'm using like three pound weights. Um, my shoulders got pretty spent from working out. Okay, lunge to balance. I wish I knew what time was at that. I wonder if I can. Hmm. Like, I don't know how long I've been on here. <laughs> it's been 45 minutes. I think we're close. Okay. All right. Do that one more time, guys, and then we will be done. And if I can even be here, I'm going to have to be a five in here, okay? And my arms, I don't know if you can see, they're like, they're rounded. So, with a fly, you're not just like this, okay? You're bent. Cobra, now we're walking like a little The leg doesn't have to go as high as me. If you go a little bit, you can go here. Okay, it's your range of motion.
Sorry, I'm using YouTube and I keep getting commercials. I just look at my YouTube. It's been on for about 30 minutes. Okay, guys. And it says, um, I always say you can just repeat the static stretching and um, the foam rolling that we did. You can just do it again at the end. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just go over that. I get pretty tight right here around my shoulder blades. So sometimes I just like to just stay in that area. Okay, I'm gonna turn over to my side and get underneath. So I wanna show you guys a different angle of what this looks like. Well, I'm kind of underneath my armpit, but I'm more so not like in, it's not in my armpit because I've got my palm open. It's really like right behind your armpit where your lats connect to your delts, your rear delts and your shoulders and all that, your triceps. That little spot back there gets pretty tight. I'm gonna hold because I feel a nice little pressure point. Okay, good. If you ever get like numbness or tingling in your arms or hands, um, like I tell you what, I hardly ever get that unless I've been on my phone or like computer too long because I foam roll every day and stretch um <clears throat> so yeah make sure that it's kind of right there and you don't want to be leaning forward you want to lean back and open up your palm and i can feel a nice little pressure point right there so i'm going to hold and just let that pressure kind of press in with these little knobs nubs bumps humps whatever Okay, <laughs> and if you do have like tight pec muscles, you could even just rest, um, I would say, put your arm here. Mm -hmm. so I've got my arm folded behind my back and I'm resting the foam roller right there in my pecs. Oh. Yeah, nice little pressure point right there. I can just feel it. It's like when you get a deep tissue massage and you're like, oh, there's a spot. It's very similar to that, but obviously we can't get to a massage therapist. And I don't know about you, but you can't afford to go to a massage therapist probably as much as you would like. So if you're, you know, um, investing in a personal trainer, um, we should be teaching you about the semi-myofascial release. 
do the other side. That felt nice. So put the arm behind the back and rest right under your back. Oh boy, that feels just wonderful. Um, so what I like about stabilization endurance for somebody like, like me, I already work out every day. I'm pretty fit. Um, I would say I'm on a fitness level. I'm an eight out of 10. I'm not like the most fit I've ever been, but, um, and I'm not able to do as much strength training, but it's still so important to, um, switch up your training program and sometimes your body needs a rest from heavy weights sometimes your body needs a rest from like lots of cardiovascular so if you're doing one thing a lot it's good to incorporate variations into your program um and this is this um i will say like i don't know that any men are watching these live classes but these are are specifically designed for women. This is straight out of my women's fitness um, specialization program guide. So um, it's specifically for women, which I love. Okay. Um, oh, I too banned. And honestly, even though I didn't, we weren't like doing heavy weights, weren't doing a lot of um, repetitions. Um, we were focusing on balance and stability. Um, I honestly still sweat and got my heart rate up, um, but that's not exactly what this specific phase of the program is designed for. It's, it's not designed, um, when I'm training people, it's not designed to, um, you know, like make you huff and puff and, <laughs> you know, get out of breath. So, um, you know, if that's what you're looking for, um, this definitely isn't that style. Um, the intensity increases um, by implementing higher levels of instability. Um, but this was a phase one, level three, whereas Tuesday we did phase one, level two. Um, and um, the modification is the volume of each, um, you, don't, you can modify the amount of set. So if three was too much for you, then just do two sets. Um, that's kind of how we kind of phase um, the level. Um, and you wanna, we performed it in a circuit fashion, which does improve the cardiorespiratory fitness um, and increases caloric expenditure. Um, and, but if you do not feel capable of going at the, the speed that I did. I didn't really take any rest periods. Um, then you can rest after each exercise about, you know, 20 or 30 seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. But we are in phase one. We focus on a circuit. So one, two, three, four. What did we do? We did four exercises, rest, four exercise, rest for exercise rest. So this was a circuit style workout. Um, what else do we have for, oh, cap. I'm talking, I get in this like where I wanna teach you guys. So, <clears throat> um, I think we're at about 35 minutes, 40 minutes-ish. Um, how this would be a 45 minute workout would be having you do uh, five or 10 minutes warming up before and after. Um, so I recommend um, 
when you do watch this, maybe it's not the actual, maybe it's not today on Thursday, but that you, if you can, um, I know some people have treadmills at home, or even just if you can go walk, um, go walk for five or 10 minutes, do this video, and then when you get done, um, walk another five or 10 minutes, or like I suggested on Tuesday, you can, um, I encourage you to do a mile. So, um, yeah. That is going to be it for this workout. Um, if anyone can give me any feedback, um, if you are liking this or anything that you need help with, um, I would love to do that. So next week we are going to move in to um, kind of phase two, maybe level one for Tuesday and Thursday. And so that's going to be um, a little bit more strength. Um, so I guess I just like, it's so hard because I don't know, do people have dumbbells or should I just do body weight exercises? Um, in that case, um, I might just do, um, I might just do like a sculpting circuit where we're not really, um, um, it's incorporating exercises from phase one and two. Um, it helps helps tone women's problem areas such as arms, abdomen, glutes, and thighs. Um, it's in a circuit format, enhances weight and fat loss because the program mimics both strengthening and cardiorespiratory training. And um, yeah, so if any of you watch this, let me know. Would you like to go and learn a little bit about strength or would you like to do sculpting, which is what I just talked about? Um, where it's incorporating both and I'm leaning towards sculpting but um, because we're at home but just let me know if any of you guys are following along with my videos just let me know what you would like um, as I've stated before my my design um, class is is a lot of teaching um it's it's not so much you coming to the class and just standing in the back and following along <laughs> um i really want to help people improve um form technique um and just like feeling confident about um knowledge about their bodies and like i said this is more designed for women than it is for men, but men can, of course, benefit from this. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a great Thursday.